hi in this video we are going to analyze this structure by using the ANSYS APDL so assume it is the simply supported structure and uh, each of these nodes are carrying a hundred Newton of load okay so so we have created a line modeling of that structure and we are going to analyze this for the given boundary conditions so it is a kind of a structure analysis so in the preferences we have to select this structural and now ok so after that we have to choose the element a suitable element for this structure so the element type so as it is a beam structure so we can choose a beam element so I'm going to use this 2 node 188 element so just select ok and close it and after the element selection we have to create or assign the suitable material for this structure so the material properties and in the material models so as it is a linear analysis I'm going to go through this linear materials and uh, just having some elastic properties right so and in isotropic conditions so this EX is meant for the Young's modulus of the material so my material having Young's modulus of uh, 2.1 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per meter square and the poison ratio will be the 0.3 okay so the material has been assigned and now we also can assign the density for the material and the density here is 1700 uh, sorry 7800 kilogram per meter cube okay so the material properties have been created now we can mesh this model so as it is a geometrical model we can we have to convert this geometrical model into the meshed the FEA model so before that we have to add the sections so the beam so it is the beam right so under the section we have to select the beam and in the common sections so assume these are all having a rectangular cross sections so the subtype is rectangular and then the breadth and height of the cross section so width is 10 mm and the height is also the 10 mm so we have to convert that uh, units into the meters because this uh, APDL having uh, or following the SI units so we have to give the input in meters so after applying the properties just select ok now we can mesh this model so under the meshing is the mesh tool and here the element attributes so by default we have created a single element and the material properties we have created one material and the section also we have made one section so if there is any multiple section and multiple materials means we have to assign the uh, suitable uh, material and section for the particular uh, element a particular uh, geometries so here the element attributes so these are the line models so lines set and select the lines so here all the lines are having a same material and the same cross section and the same element so just select the all uh, lines or select pick all now we are going to use the same material for the all line all lines just to ensure the material and the element and the cross section for the selected lines select ok now again the mesh tool now we can mesh this so mesh so I'm going to miss all the lines so just select pick all so now this is converted into the FEA model now we can assign the boundary condition that is the supports and load for the particular structure the given structure so under the solution we can assign the loads 